Welcome to the fourth Sunday of Easter. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming, leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep, I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it up from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have the power to lay it down, and I have the power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It seems to me that the favorite psalm requested to be prayed or sung at funerals is Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. Somehow this psalm resonates with our minds and our hearts and our souls of the need to be held, encouraged, and comforted in times of pain such as the death of a loved one. The image of Jesus carrying the lost sheep speaks to the confidence that we desire that in the midst of those times of being in darkness, we will be carried to a place of light. When I ponder the Easter Gospels and ponder as to what being a shepherd is all about, I suddenly begin to wonder if Mary of Magdala was the first shepherd of the early church. When I remember the Easter Gospels of John, when Mary goes to Jerusalem to tell Peter and the others, that the tomb is empty, Peter and the beloved disciple run to the tomb. But the Gospel writers say that they return to Jerusalem. Mary discovered the gardener to be Jesus when he speaks her name. Rabuni, she says, which means master or teacher. Rabuni, you who taught me about love, you who have taught me about relationships, you who taught me about the things of God. Jesus says to Mary, But go and find the brothers and tell them, I'm ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary is entrusted, empowered, and missioned to speak the word of God. She is sent to announce the word, to announce the vision. Mary will speak to the disciples hiding in Jerusalem amongst the millions of pilgrims who have come to Passover that Jesus has risen. Jesus is alive. Light has overcome darkness. Hope has overcome despair. And love has conquered evil. The brothers will be empowered by her word. They too will shepherd others. The good shepherd is the one who announces the word and announces the vision. The good shepherd is the one who leads the flock and guides the flock. The Good Shepherd is the one who directs the minds and hearts of the followers of Jesus as to where to go and how to live in order to have nourished hearts, so as to have hearts that have life. The Good Shepherd leads them to green pastures and not to arid ground of the desert, the desert which is the place of illusion, the place of sin, the place of death. 
The Good Shepherd is the one who calls and knows each by name. There is a communion between the heart of the Good Shepherd and our hearts. The Good Shepherd is the one that continues to remind us of the importance of family, the centrality of family life and family values in our lives. The Good Shepherd calls us out of the busyness of life and out of the self-seeking and materialistic opportunism of our lives, back to family life, family relationships, the spending and wasting of time with one another. These are the green pastures that give life because they are rooted in the vision of God and not in the vision of merely the secular. The Good Shepherd is the one who does not run away. When the wolf comes, those places of danger, anxiety, stress, tragedy, and crisis, the Good Shepherd stands in front of the wolf to protect, to protect they who are loved, valued, and cherished by him. The Good Shepherd is willing to lay down his life for the word and for the vision. Like Mary of Magdala, he is willing to remain at the cross of Calvary, Calvary, no matter what the price or consequence. Critical to the shepherding of today's church are the hands, the hearts, and the voices of moms and dads who bear the greatest influence in the leading of vulnerable souls to the values of the kingdom. Critical also are the leaders within the community, both secular and sacred, who commit their lives to earthen the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ into their own lives and the lives of those around them or with whom they do business. The call of the church is to continue to bring home to our lives the Easter message. Easter is about rooting our lives in the Jesus story. Easter is about coming home to the fullness of our faith as followers of Jesus. Easter is about following the Good Shepherd on our journey through life to our eternal home. Let us continue to tune the ears of our hearts to hear his voice, that he may continue to lead and guide us toward eternal life. Praise be Jesus risen. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia.